I started out in college and I got um, started working with a professor who was really into open source and um, he knew a lot of Linux kernel developers in the Portland area and so Greg Crow Hartman who um, uh, manages the USB subsystem uh, said hey I have this project do you have a student that could actually do it and and uh, my professor said oh yeah cool Sarah could do that for us and so I did the project is called uh, USB FS2 and um, I presented at it for it at OSCON and then um, someone on the OSCON program committee worked for Intel and said oh hey we need someone to do this new USB specification and do the Linux kernel driver for it and they said oh we should hire Sarah and so basically I went to a conference gave a presentation and got a job out of it. Conferences are great for networking with all sorts of people you know the, when you work on in a particular subsystem, you get to know the people in that subsystem, but when you go to a conference, you get to meet all sorts of other people that you wouldn't normally associate with. And so it's great to network and it's great to um, talk over problems that might cross you know, different subsystem boundaries that you might not uh, get solved you know, on the mailing list. Sometimes it's just faster to talk to people. With having not that many women in the community, sometimes that there are you know behaviors that certain people have that they don't realize kind of exclude women. As more women join in, I hope that that, that uh, sort of thing changes. But you know, I think it's really awesome that uh, with the Ada Initiative and with the Geek Feminism Wiki and um, you know all sorts of conversations like the Sisters mailing list, that um, the people have a place that's safe to share sorts of experiences and to actually work on you know how can we make this better and so I think it's really awesome that a lot of uh, female geeks have sort of banded together to try to make things better. Mm -hmm.